Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex and today I'm going to show you how to find out what is the latest capable Mac OS version that you can install on your computer. Here I have a MacBook Pro 15 inch late 2013. Right now I'm using Mac OS High Sierra. So how do I know if I can install a higher Mac OS version on this computer? If you go to software update, okay, it says no updates available. So the first impression I have is that I cannot update anything, right? Because it's telling me no updates available. If I go to the feature page, it's going to show me macOS Ventura. If I click here and I click download, it says we cannot complete your purchase. This version of macOS 13.1 cannot be installed on this computer. So I cannot install the latest macOS Ventura. Most people will say, okay, I'm going to have to stay with High Sierra, right? But what happens if we do a search here, right? How about Mac OS, let's say uh, Big Sur. This is the results, okay? It's not giving me, even if I type Mac OS, you know, it's gonna give me a lot of stuff, but not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a newer Mac OS that I can install on this computer. The point I'm trying to make is that Apple failed on telling me if I can upgrade this computer to a newer Mac OS because I tried to do the search and I tried to do the software upgrade and there's no indication that I can install a newer Mac OS on this computer. And I really think this is an issue that Apple should take care of. On an iPhone, if you go to settings, general software update, it says iOS 16.2. But even if you are on an older iOS, when you do this software update, it's always going to give you the possibility to update to the latest iOS compatible with your device. You know, in this case, I have an iPhone 14, so it's going to give me the latest iOS. That's not happening on the MacBook Pro. It's not giving me an option to upgrade. So let me do something else to try to fix this problem. All right. We're going to open Safari and we're going to search for Mac OS compatibility. And the first result is what we're looking for. This is eShop Mac Sales. We're gonna click there and I'm gonna put a link on the description. And here we're gonna look for our MacBook. This is a MacBook Pro. So we're gonna click here on MacBook Pro. And here on the left, we're gonna try to look our model. Our model is 15 inch Retina late 2013. Now, there is a way also to find out the identifier of this computer. You can find it here, system reports right here. Model identifier is a MacBook Pro 11.3. So that's our computer. So we're gonna look here, 15 inch Retina late 2014, and you can see the MacBook Pro 11.3. And here we can see that we cannot install Ventura, we cannot install Monterey, but we can install Big Sur. This computer is compatible with Big Sur. It says yes. Also with Catalina, also with Mojave, because we are on High Sierra. So this is gonna be a great update because we're gonna jump from High Sierra to Big Sur, and that's a one, two, three, a three Mac OS jump, which is gonna be great. Okay, so let's do it. How can we do it now? We're just gonna search for Big Sur download. And here, the first result is Apple giving me the option to install Mac OS Big Sur. My question is, why when I search it here before, it didn't show me this result? Why do I have to search on Google and not on the App Store? That, I don't know. So we're gonna click download. It says two hours and, well, this is gonna change, you know, depending on your internet connection, it's gonna take a while. So let's wait till we finish download this and I'll come back. Okay guys, so we just finished downloading Mac OS Big Sur. So I'm gonna click open and this is gonna open the program. Click continue, agree. I have read and agreed to the terms of the software license agreement. Click agree. You're gonna select your hard drive. Click continue, type your password. And now we're gonna install Mac OS Big Sur. It says 17 minutes, but this might change. All right guys, so it says ready to install. We're gonna click restart and let's see what happened. This installation usually takes a while, guys. And it's at about 29 minutes remaining. Okay, guys, so we finally finished. We're gonna type our password and enter. Analytics, continue. Screen time, set up later. Improve Siri, not now. Light is good. And looks like we are done, guys. Continue. And this folder is called relocated items. It's pretty much nothing here, so I'm just gonna move it to trash. So now we are on Mac OS Big Sur version 11.7.2. Let me see if we have any update. 
an update is available for your Mac and it says Safari. Okay, so I'm gonna install the update for Safari, but that was pretty much it guys. As you can see, we're gonna stay at 11.7.2. This point two might change if any security updates come in, Apple will let us know and it's gonna allow us to update. Having a newer operating system makes the computer feel like new. Some people are gonna tell me, okay, but how can I install Monterey or Ventura? There are patches out there that will allow you to do it, but to be honest, I don't recommend it because it takes a long time and you have to do it several times. So it's not like one fix and then you forget about it. No, you constantly need to start updating and patching and I don't like that, to be honest. So if for any reason you need it, okay, do it. But if you're okay with this macOS Big Sur, I would recommend you not to do it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Don't forget to support my channel by subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you on my next video. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I will do my best to reply to you. Thank you.